Hey class, today we are going to be In Explore Lessons, students learn a new concept so through a teacher-led, hands-on group activity. Uh, really the goal of Explore Lessons is for students to develop a shared mental model of a new programming concept. A mental model is a representation of how something works. Frequently, mental models will build over time throughout the course. For example, a mental model of a variable will be used to develop a mental model of a list in later lessons. Explore lessons typically use physical manipulatives, visual slides, and activity guides linked in the lesson plan. To prepare for the lesson, first, take a look at the lesson plan and the slides provided. Some teachers find it helpful to print out the lesson plan and use it as a reference while teaching the lesson itself. Before you teach the lesson, it can be helpful for you to use the manipulatives to act out the prompts from the lesson. Explore lessons start with a short prompt or activity to grab students' interest and activate their prior knowledge. From there, you will introduce the new concept using manipulatives or an activity guide. Often the activity alternates between the teacher giving short explanations and students completing the tasks using manipulatives. These tasks are collaborative. As students are working, circulate the room to listen to conversations and see if you identify any misconceptions. Hey, all right. I'm noticing you have two stickies in the same baggie. Common misconception, this can't happen. Baggie can only hold one sticky. So what I want you two to do is, as partners is look up there, try to figure out what line of code you think that happened on, uh, but you only want one sticky in the baggie. Okay. All good? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. You got it. When they're stuck, encourage students to explain their thinking using the manipulatives. All right, class, great job today. I have some vocabulary, so why don't we go and add these to our journals? Explore lessons typically end with students adding new vocabulary or concepts to their journals. Sometimes code may be referenced in an Explore lesson, but students don't need to know how to use it on their own yet. The two most important parts of an Explore lesson are to build a shared mental model nice. and to introduce key vocabulary. Awesome, awesome. You and your students will refer back to this mental model in the upcoming Investigate, Practice, and Make lessons. Mm -hmm.